adjustments do you feel need to be made? Um, again, like tonight, um, obviously, um, it's not the outcome that uh, we all wanted, but um, there were a lot of things that we can build on, that we can learn from. Um, unlike the game against Houston, where um, it's just the complete opposite. Uh, I think in this game we saw, we saw obviously, uh, we have a great night shooting, um, but defensively we're way more engaged, um, way more physical, way more aggressive, way more proactive, um, and, and that's what it's going to take. Um, obviously, then we have to, on offense, make shots and, uh, and, and, and you know, give good passes, but those things you can clean up and you can build on, and, uh, and it's um, obviously still not a, a good feeling to lose ever. Um, but it, it give you um, the feeling that you can build on it, and uh, and they can co come back tomorrow and uh, and watch film, and everybody just um, keep looking at themselves and see what they got to do as uh, as a professional, uh, and and that's it's that simple, not in a negative way. Um, just see what your job is, and see where your shots are coming from, see what uh, you need to do to help the team. Uh, so I think that's. That would uh, my take from the game tonight is. With, with so many of your teammates being younger, you guys not having necessarily gone through this, but are you pleased to see that this is the response to what was the adversity? The we defense? have to show them, though. We, we as you know, as, uh, me as, a, as as the leader of the team, I got to show them, um, you know, the the way and 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 not not by you know making shots necessarily or you know just. The energy, the body language, all those things um, go a long way um, with some of the guys being on the ear, um, especially when things go bad for them. Um, you just want to be on the ear and, and talking to them and like knowing that you have their back, um, no matter what um, the outcome might be. Um, you know, when you make shots and, and, and you, know, you, you think you're really pretty and everybody loves you, and when you're not making shots or you're in the dark house, not playing much or getting pulled out of the game really quick, you think you're really ugly and nobody loves you. So, you know, you're not that pretty, you're not that ugly. You know, so you just want to um, be in the happy balance and, and know that your teammates have your back. And, and, uh, and as long as they do the right thing out there, I'm always going to have their back. Uh, Mark, a uh, big gap in the rebounding tonight. Is that something that... I didn't see the stats. I know I know. I heard something. It's uh, like a 20-something rebound gap. Yeah. Uh, is, is it... Uh, how many offensive rebounds they have? Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, I think we, we missed a lot of shots, and uh, and, and, and obviously um, I don't think we had many offensive rebounds. Uh, um, you know, you miss a lot of shots. There's going to be a lot of rebounds if you don't if you don't get a, um, a lot of offensive rebounds. They're going to get a lot of defensive rebounds. They were in good position um, most of the times. They 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 have a lot of guys in the paint, um, so it's hard to work around all that and um, and, and finding you know the space to, to work around the defense and, and, and have good positioning. And, uh, and I'm trying to create a space also for for the guys. Uh, yeah. But you know, obviously, you, know, you got 15. It's, I think it's a little too many. Uh, I think we, you know, we, we can cut it down to um, maximum of 8 to 10. Um, that, that, that should have been uh, um, the goal. But you know, 20 rebound difference is a bit too many. So some of that was also because they took so few outside shots. You limited them to just 15 three-point attempts, which has got to be a season low for them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they shoot many. I don't think, I think they, they shoot around 22 um, per game, and they shoot them at a good percentage. Um, so, you know, and, and it's, I think maybe eight or nine of them come from two guys, or even I think it's 12 yeah. of them yeah. come from uh, two, two, of the, two of the guys. So um, you can see that, you know, we should we could have did a better job of shrinking the paint, uh, knowing that they don't have that many shooters. And uh, but that's what I'm saying. That that's something that you learn and you you can build on. Like th things that you realize that you could have done differently. Um, but you know that takes a little a little time, a little experience, and, uh, and and putting yourself out there as a player. Does it change the? You go game to game as a process. Not always, so much. Always, always. Does it change though? The, is there more pressure on the Dallas games and more because of the loss situation? Uh, uh, no, I mean obviously, I mean maybe for some of the guys, um, but but you know I'm, I'm going to let them know. You play the right way, good things are going to happen. Um, maybe not right away as you wish, um, but you play the right way. You help your teammate. Um, 
and, and it's going to come back around and, and help you. So, um, you know, we do that, and we do that every night. And we do that in every practice, every shoot around. We have each other's back. We, uh, we as players do our job. Um, things are going to get better uh, right now, obviously. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to sleep, and it's, and it's frustrating, and, and nobody likes this situation. But it's the one you're in. Uh, so what you're going to do to get out of it? Uh, so work. Everybody good? Yes.